All right, so it's time for another major Chrome update. This happens about every six weeks or so where they add a bunch of new features. So this time it is Chrome version 80. You may have already gotten this update automatically, but you can also check by going to the settings and then about Google Chrome, and it'll tell you what version you have or it'll automatically update if you're not on the latest. And with this, there's plenty of new changes you probably will be interested in. So I went through the entire change log and actually found individual little changes that you might not see mentioned anywhere else in any other news articles. So stick around, there's lots of cool stuff we can go over. One cool new feature is tab grouping. So if you have a bunch of different tabs that are kind of related, you can now group them together by color and name. One thing to point out quickly is I believe this is not rolled out by default to everyone yet. I believe in Chrome 81, they say it will be rolled out to pretty much everyone by default. But if you do want to use this feature now, you can go to the Chrome flags menu. So that's Chrome colon slash slash flags, and then just search for tab groups or tab, whatever, and then you can enable it there. So how it works is you find a tab you want to create a group from, you right click it, and then you'll see the option to add to a new group or add to an existing group if you already have one. Then once you do that, you'll see a color accent highlighting the tab, and then you'll also see like the colored bar with a colored circle next to it. So you can click on that to change the color. And then you can also create multiple groups of different colors. So as you create new groups, you'll see multiple of these little circles. You get the idea, but now this way you can just group tabs together so you can way more organize them. For those of you who create hundreds of tabs, you know who you are, but this should make it a lot easier. All right, now the next feature is really cool, but you might not notice it, and that's the whole point. And it is a lot less intrusive notification requests on websites. So you know how sometimes you go on a website and it pops up asking you if you wanna enable notifications. 99.99% of the time, you do not. I don't know if I've ever enabled notifications on any like news website asking me to. Anyway, in Chrome 80, this will become a lot less obnoxious because it will actually start blocking notification requests on one of two conditions. So the first is if you as a user very frequently block notification requests. So like me, every time I see one of these requests, I always deny it. So in this case, I'm assuming it will stop them from popping up in the future. And also if a particular website has a very low uh, enabling rate of notifications. So if there's some news website and they pop up a request and it has a very low opt-in rate, then it might just start blocking those requests all together for everybody. So hopefully going forward, you're gonna see a lot fewer of these requests, which I am welcoming completely. Here's another feature that is more behind the scenes, but hopefully you'll be able to appreciate, and it is auto upgrading mixed content for HTTPS. What the heck does that mean? Basically, when you load a website, you probably know that sometimes it's secure, it has HTTPS with a little lock, sometimes it's just regular HTTP, it's unencrypted, but a lot of websites actually have mixed content. Some of it's secure, some of it's not for unimportant details. Well now Chrome 80 will attempt to auto upgrade some of the insecure content. So if it's a secure website where most of it is encrypted for example, but I don't know, maybe there's a couple images that are unencrypted, it will just attempt to see if it can access that same image using HTTPS in the background just by replacing the URL for that link. And then if it does, all is good. And if it doesn't, well, it's not gonna actually affect anything. So this is all gonna go on in the background and will slightly increase the security of a lot of different websites, even if you don't notice it. But again, this is not gonna be for all content and it won't be for all websites or entire websites. So I would still recommend the Google Chrome extension called HTTPS Everywhere, which basically does this for entire websites. So basically, if you go on a website and it is known to have HTTPS version of it, it will automatically direct you to that secure version of the site. So you don't have to check or you don't have to specifically try the secure version. It'll just automatically upgrade so you'll be a lot more secure. Definitely recommend that extension and I always have. Okay, this next feature is awesome and it is another one that you will not notice because that's the whole point and it is no pop-ups on page unload. So you may have come across plenty of websites where you close out the page and then it pops something up to try to get you to stay on the page or whatever. Now by default, this is usually blocked in all cases by the Chrome pop-up blocker, but now it will default to disabling these closing pop-ups even if the pop-up blocker 
is off. So basically now this will not be the case anymore. You'll never see another pop-up probably where you go to try and close the page and then it'll pop up some window. Now, one thing to keep in mind is a lot of websites, what they do is if they see your mouse going towards the back page or the close page, they'll still pop something up. So you might see these websites that still display something as you go to close it, but there should no longer be the case where I believe where you can actually be stopped from going back from the page. All right, this next feature is one I think is awesome. It's a little bit tricky to use, but still the fact that it's there is amazing. And it is called scroll to text fragment. Basically, it will allow you to create a direct link to not just a website, but a specific part of a website. So say you wanna send a specific quote from an article to someone, you can actually create a link where someone clicks on that link. It will not only go to that website, but also scroll down to where you wanna link it to and highlight the text. This is really similar to how some websites like Wikipedia allow you to link directly to different titles or segments of the page, but now this will be allowed on any website regardless of how the website is laid out and it doesn't have to be a header or anything. It can be any text in there. So to use this feature, unfortunately, there's no really easy user interface option to do it. You have to use this weird special code. So basically you add the following to the end of the URL. You do a pound sign or a hashtag and then colon tilde colon text equals and then the text you want to link to. So yes, it's a really obnoxious, weird thing you have to add to it. I believe they did that so it wouldn't interfere with any existing end of URL tags or anything, but that's what we have to deal with. I'm sure maybe in the future, they'll add a feature where you can highlight and then right click and link directly to it, but that's not the case right now. Anyway, if you create a link like this that looks how it does here, then when you click on that link, it will take you directly to that set of text and highlight it as well. Now, one weird thing to point out is according to the Chrome 80 release notes, this feature is supposed to be enabled by default, but for me, it wasn't working until I actually went into the flags menu and actually enabled it and changed it from default. So if you want to do that, just go into the Chrome flag settings and then search for the one called enable text fragment anchor and enable that and that will absolutely enable the feature. So I'm not sure if that's a problem with my computer specifically. I have had issues in the past where features that are supposed to be on by default aren't for me. So I don't know if that's weird. So you can check that out yourself and see if it works with your friends and still be able to probably use the feature. All right, now the final update is kind of a major one that a lot of people are talking about. It's pretty technical and it's more of a behind the scenes thing, but I really should mention it because it is pretty significant and it has to do with how cookies are handled. Without getting too technical, basically Chrome is gonna start looking on website source code for an attribute that is assigned to cookies by the website creator called same site and it's meant to assign how the webmaster wants cookies to be able to be used between websites. So basically there are first party cookies which are cookies that are for the same website you're actually on and then there are third party cookies which are for websites that you're not actually on and these are often tracking cookies so for advertisements or if a website uses material from another website for example maybe it's an embedded video or embedded tool or something there might be a third party cookie accompanying that tool but it's still on a different website so it's technically third party. And third party cookies now will have to be defined in one of three ways using this attribute, either as being a strict, lax, or none attribute. And really the main takeaway from all this is that basically third party cookies by default will now only be allowed if they are sent via a slightly more secure method. I'm not gonna get any more technical than that, but it should make it so sketchy websites are less able to do sketchy stuff with cookies basically. In a vast majority of cases, this is not gonna make a difference to you at all. You probably won't ever notice any difference on most of the websites you visit, but the end result is that you'll get a little bit more privacy potentially, and there might be less tracking from sketchy advertisers and stuff like that. So I think that about covers it. Right here, I'll put links to the previous Chrome 79 update if you wanna see those new features, as well as another video I made talking about really cool Chrome extensions you might wanna check out. So you can just click on either of those right there. So thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.